one diamond. Stop, three hearts, preemptive. Pass, four hearts. Pass, pass, pass. The lead of the three of diamonds. Instantaneously, we have to look at our winners and losers. We have two losers in diamonds, no loser in spades, no loser in hearts, and two losers in clubs. When the diamonds are played, it will be a mistake for North to continue with a diamond. And they should know that South has another diamond because they've led small followed by high, the three followed by the seven. So their partner must have another diamond and they switch. The queen of clubs, top of a sequence. Now I can either win or not win, but it doesn't matter. Because the eight of clubs have been played, we know that they've struck gold in what they've done. So now, if we draw trumps, as we generally have to do, well, when we play Whatever way we try, and even though our spades are winners because they discarded one, we're going to be left with two little losers in the club suit. Luckily, we're allowed a mulligan. Luckily, we're going to get a second chance to play this hand. On every hand, you don't necessarily draw trumps. As we have four losers on this hand, we need to do something with those losers. And there's only one place with which we can do something with our losing club, and that's the spade suit. If we're lucky enough that the spades are divided four and three, and we play careful enough by using our entries correctly, no matter what the opponents can do, no matter what cards they have, we can establish the jack of spades as a winner, and provided we've kept uh, our cards good on the king of hearts on the table we can play our winning spade and throw our losing club and as if by magic the contract will be made we don't always draw trumps on every hand the defenders can make a mistake on this hand by playing a third diamond or by playing a small spade when they win the diamond. But if they play a club, you still have the ability, provided their spades are four in one hand and three in the other, you still have the ability to make 10 tricks. One diamond. One heart overcall. Five hearts, good hearts because you're vulnerable and probably a minimum of 10 points. With that in mind, I jumped to two spades to show a strong hand and a six card suit. Forcing to gain. Pass, four spades, showing a minimum hand with a fit.
the lead of the diamond. It looks as if this hand should be easy. We have two diamond losers, maybe a club loser, and that's all. But the lead of the diamond should concern us. At this point, it doesn't make a difference whether we play the ace, whether we play the jack or the 10 or the nine underneath the ace. So the jack is to try to fool the clearer and to think into the defender into thinking that it's the only one you have. It doesn't work. And if we notice West, our right-hand opponent, played the seven of diamonds on, and the five of diamonds on the second diamond. Therefore, we know what's coming next. Suddenly, we have a third loser in diamonds that we didn't know about. When they come back at club, we have a choice to finesse. If we finesse instantaneously, we're down. Quick mulligan. So we won't do that. And the bidding should have indicated to us. They told us they had an opening bid and four plus diamonds. And if we counted the points that we had between the hands, there's only one place for the king of clubs to be. We can't afford to finesse. Now we better take the kids off the street. And when we draw the trumps, we're nice and happy now. And now we're going to play all of our winners and it's going to be easy. That heart is a winner, by the way. And we still didn't make it. No matter what, no matter where the king of clubs, we were just unlucky. Luckily, we've been given a second big mulligan. Again, if we have a loser, and that loser means we can't make the contract we have to try to generate a winner there is only one suit we can now generate the winner in and that's the heart suit and we must play the heart suit immediately because our spades are the way with which we can get back to the dummy if the king of hearts is roughed we can't make the contract and when we lead a small spade heart back, we should be careful not to rough small. We can afford to rough with the ace. And when we cross back, we can win with the eight. And we can lead the last heart. And again, we don't need to rough small. And now we can draw as many rounds of trumps as we need in case we needed to draw the final trump. We don't on this hand. And then we can play our winner in safety and discard our loser. And we can rough the last club. At the start of every hand, you need to think about your losers. You need to think about where you're going to generate your winners. And you need to think about how you're going to get backwards and forwards between the two hands to make the contract. 